blood. All right, so we're looking at um, parallel lines um, cut by a transversal. I would say that parallel lines are lines that run in the same direction and that they never meet. And that a transversal is a straight line that intersects two or more parallel lines. So in the diagram below, this straight line here that cuts across the two parallel lines, that straight line is called a transversal. So for um for a line to be a transversal, it must for a straight line to be a transversal, it must be touching or cutting across two or more parallel lines. The next part of the thing says corresponding angles. Please listen. When parallel lines are cut by a transversal, angles, um, angles around each intersection in the same position are equal. These angles are called corresponding angles. So in the diagram below, we have two parallel lines. And the parallel lines are indicated with what lines and ar with arrows on them. That's how we indicate parallel lines. Now, when parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the straight line that cuts across the two parallel lines is called a transversal. The angles that are formed around each intersection in the same position are equal, and those angles are called corresponding angles. Now, um, look at the diagram. If you look at the diagram, you can see that A is the top right angle. Which angle, um, which angle below that at the next intersection, um, which angle is at the next intersection is, at, is in the same position? Let's go again. I have um, two intersections. I have my parallel lines cut by a transversal and it produces two intersections. The angles around the first intersection are A, B, C, D. The angles around the second intersection are E, F, G, H. Now, angles around each intersection in the same position are equal. They are called parallel, sorry, they are called corresponding angles. So this is the question. I say at the first intersection, a is the top right angle. Which angle in the sec at the second intersection is in the same position? E, good. So then we would say that A is equal to E. They are corresponding angles. Now, B is the bottom right angle. Which angle at the second intersection is in the same position? F, good. D is the top left angle. Which angle in the <clears throat> which angle at the second intersection is is in the same position? Help me. D, which angle is in the same position as D? H, which angle is in the same position as C? G, ladies and gentlemen, these angles are equal. They are called corresponding angles. So let's turn the page. So it says A and E are, are both above the parallel line and to the right of the transversal. A and E are corresponding angles. So A, angle A is equal to angle E, they are corresponding angles. B equal to F, um, C equal to G, D equal to H, they are corresponding angles. Ladies and gentlemen, when parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the angles around each intersection in the same position are equal. Those angles are called corresponding angles. Let's talk about alternate angles. Now this says, when parallel lines are cut by a transversal, two pairs of alternate angles are formed between the parallel lines. 
So the um, angles between the parallel lines are called interior angles. Alternate um, alternate angles are I um, are on either side of the transversal at at opposite intersections. Alternate angles are equal. Now at the bottom there I have alternate angles are sometimes called Z angles. So let's look what happens here. Whenever you use the parallel lines and the transversal right as Z, the angles which are formed are equal and are called alternate angles. So look what I mean. Parallel line, transversal, and angle is formed there, don't it? Parallel line again. You see these two angles, they are equal, they are called alternate angles. So B is equal to H, they are called alternate angles. Now C is equal to E, they are called alternate angles. So again, um, alternate angles are formed when the parallel lines and the transversal are used to write a Z. Alternate angles are equal. Now, alternate angles are sometimes called Z angles. All right, next, let's talk about co interior angles. So, so key in the Z angles, can you see it? Um, the alternate angles are between the parallel lines and they're on opposite sides of the what? The transversal. So, it's B and H, C and E. All right. So alternate angles are on either side of the transversal at opposite intersection. Um, alternate angles are equal. All right. Now let's talk about um, co-interior angles. Now when parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each of the two pairs of, in, um, of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is called co-interior angles. Co-interior angles are supplementary. That means that they add up to 180 degrees. All right, we're gonna to get to the next page, but let me just illustrate here. You have parallel lines and you have a transversal. So um, B, C, E, F. Now, these are the four angles between the parallel lines. They're called interior angles. Now, you have the left-hand side and you have the right-hand side. So let's go again. The angles which are formed between the parallel lines, they're called interior angles. The interior angles are B, C, E, F. Now, let me ask you this. Which two interior angles is on the right hand side of the transversal? Anybody? Which two interior angle is on the right hand side of the transversal? Talk to me now. All right, we'll never write, we'll never write for no answer. Let me say, we'll never write for the answer, no answer. That's a thing there. They're supposed to be right. And this is supposed to be left. Which two interior angles on the right hand side of a transversal? Talk to me. B and E. Which two interior angle is on the left hand side of a transversal? No, is it B? B plus E won't equal is going to be equal to 180 degrees. They are called co-interior angles. And C plus F is also equal to 180 degrees. They are called co-interior angles. When parallel lines are cut by a transversal, each of the two pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is called co-interior angles. All right, and this is C diagram below. And co-interior angles are supplementary they add up to 180 degrees. Let's go and have a look at the diagram. So there we go. The interior angles are what? B, C, E, and H. 
it's not F, it's actually H. All right, and so B plus E is equal to 180 degrees. And um, C plus H is equal to 180 degrees. They are called co-interior angles. All right, so that is sort of like a little introduction. Um, whenever you whenever you're doing um these types of questions and you see parallel lines, the three things that should come to your mind are corresponding angles, um, co-interior angles, and alternate angles. Please note these um types um sorry um these angle combinations do not appear unless you have parallel lines cut by a transversal. So you will not get corresponding angles unless you have parallel lines cut by a transversal. You will not get co-interior angles unless you have parallel lines cut by a transversal. You will not get alternate angles unless you have parallel lines cut by a transversal. All right, so that is the introduction. Next, we're going to look at example three.